first look, it would seem that gravity is the main subject of this year's international summer school. But students from all over Europe, and even some from the U.S. and Japan, are actually learning elementary particle physics at the 2014 Hasco Summer School. But before they are actually researching at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, students are being prepared to work as a team. Besides the lecturers, connecting on a personal level is one of the main goals of everyone involved. People, people come here with different uh, experiences and with different expectations as well, so uh, there's quite a lot of exchange also between countries. So. And after you, you somehow jumped over this barrier coming from language, <laughs> had some fun uh, misinterpreting what people said. Uh, it's, it's very nice to exchange, and I think this brings, yeah, I think people from different backgrounds together, which is quite nice. You can ask them uh, where are they from, what do they study, so then you somehow uh, know what what parts of physics are done around the world, how do they learn around the world in other universities. And that's very good because, for example, in future you would like to go to PhD somewhere else and now you know how it's done in, in, in foreign countries abroad. I think physics is a, a social activity. Yeah, we have uh, gone to a history tour around the city and today we are here in the woods doing some physical activities and uh, and uh, in the evening we often play games and at the youth hostel and yeah we get to know each other it's quite good it's quite exciting I feel like I've gotten to know people better than I expected to in such a short period of time and there's lots of activities and um, it's just been really fun the schedule for Hasco summer school is literally packed with a wide variety of topics covered throughout the two weeks from hadron collider physics to detector and accelerator physics to statistics. The lectures are given by experts from all over Europe, which adds to the international aspect of the summer school. Let's hear from some of them about what makes Hasco so special. This gives the opportunity to different uh, students uh, speaking different languages, having different experience, academic experience, to uh, compare each other, to confront each other, you know, so to enrich each other. And uh, I think this is a benefit for all of them. The students get to know each other, being uh, roughly at the same age and getting to know people from all over Europe but they also get to know lecturers, junior as well as senior lecturers. Some of the lecturers are very experienced, actually have leading positions in the community. They know them by name, maybe they know them by email, but to learn about physics from the world experts is of course a very special uh, experience. It's good to have that opportunity and to get feedback from the lecturers as well. Uh, having that discussion um, makes it easier to not see this, this big difference between professor and the student but you know that you're really working together and that's what happens day to day in particle physics so I think it's it's nice to start to get that interaction to happen. Uh, it's a summer school well it's different than being studying directly go to your lectures and going back to your place. You share basically 24 hours every day the weekend together and that's really very nice for the social part. Of in addition to the lectures the students are encouraged to give their own presentations learning by teaching and tackling problems on their own. But as previously stated, the Hasco Summer School is more than physics. Part of the program this year was a Q&A session with witnesses of National Socialism in Germany, commemorating the 70th anniversary of German resistance fighter Adam van Trott, who lived in Göttingen in Oxford. Learning from a look back in history for the future, which brings us to the future of Hasco Summer School, as planned by the man behind it all, Professor Dr. Arnulf Quatt. We are actually planning to move the school around, have it in Amsterdam, in Oxford, in Pisa, in Barcelona. We will see how things continue. But it's really supposed to be a joint group effort. See you in Göttingen next summer. <laughs> Off you go. Woo!